Welcome back to another episode of the Lord of the Rings Online. Let's go ahead and continue with some quests here. Let me begin over here and see what Selendine Brandybuck has for me. Will help on feel better. I just know it. Doesn't the bilberry tea smell delightful? It reminds me of my gammer, who made this for me when I was under the weather. Even though my gammer is long gone. You were such a dear to collect these wild berries for me, so I shan't be taking all the credit. Why don't you bring this nice brew to Amdir so he can thank you himself? You make sure he drinks it all up. Alright, let me take it to him. I thank you, but I have not the stomach to drink this now. Does that tea smell of bilberries? That was very sweet of Selendane, and very good of you to fetch her the makings. I am all the sorrier for I cannot drink this now. I, I do not feel well enough just now. I will pretend to drink it. You must tell Selendine that I enjoyed her tea. Please do not let her know that her kindness was wasted on me. Hmm. Did my tea puck him up? I knew it would. Bilberry tea always fixes me right up, and I know it would be especially sweet if it came from both of us, Kippen. I know Amdir will be back on his feet soon. He is so brave. Alright, and let's continue the main storyline here with Captain Brackenbrook. You cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. I have trusted Calder Cobb and heeded his advice for a long time, even after my own son tried to warn me of his duplicity. My son, John, is a worthy hunter, but he has not set foot in this town for over three years. He will never forgive me for the things that I have said to him. Oh, what a fool I am. I told him he was not welcome in Arcad until he stopped behaving like a jealous child. Now, he and his hunters are our only hope. But what can I do? He does not deserve to be dragged deeper into my folly. Nay, Arkit must with withstand the storm without help. Hmm, what a fool. Let me talk to Strider, see if he has a better plan. Do not despair. You have done well. Indeed, better than I could have done. You earned Captain Brackenbrook's trust. You must appeal to his son, John, against his wishes. I must leave soon, and Arkit will need all the help he can get from a even if a father's pride is at stake. I'm confident you will be able to bring the hunters in and give this town a fighting chance. In the meantime, I must make haste. MD assures me that he just needs rest. Alright, so let's go find John Brackenbrook. See if we can do anything about him at all. Can I go through here? I can't. I have to go outside. I was pretty sure there was like a shortcut. I think further north. There we go. I think I can go through here. Or not. That gate is closed too. Alright guys. I'm trying to like find a shortcut. And that just backfired. So I'm just going to go the long way around. We will just go the long way around. No problem. God, this game looks so good, by the way. Can you believe this is from 2007? I don't understand why the game is not more popular. It's so good. It's so thoughtful. It's so well done. But for some reason, I don't know, people just don't really play this very much. I especially remember the endgame content being a lot of fun, just... Getting with your kinship and raiding and doing all these fun challenges. I remember having a lot of fun way back in the day on this game. I hope to do some raiding as well on this character, but I think it was it's going to be a very long time until I'm level 100. I think by that time, the max level might even be higher. Who knows? I could swim across or I could take the bridge. You swim slower than you run, so I think I'm just going to run it out. You can repeatedly jump when you're in the water, and that makes you go a little bit faster. Alright, so here's the hunting lodge. Let's talk to John. I presume you're here to bring me ill news from town. You come from town, do you? I have been watching from the bounds. The skies have turned dark and fell, and there is a shadow of unrest all over Arket, over men, over beasts, and trees alike. Let me guess, my father has not the wisdom to observe such things. 
So you heard of his exiled son and came to me for aid. Come then. Come out with it. I desire to hear all that you have to tell. <coughs> Excuse me. Kaldakov has shown his true colors at last. I knew him to be an evil-hearted man, but my father is too trusting. He does not like to think ill of people. His blindness wounded me, but he is a good man. So to answer your question, yes, I will come to Arkad's aid. And my fellow hunters will as well. I am a hunter and a skilled warrior, trained by my father and captain. And I would rather die than sit idly while foul brigands crash upon the decent peoples. Let us see what there is for... I'm sorry. Let us see what there is to see before the storm is upon us. While I gather my warriors and my weapons, you should sneak into the Blackwold's roost and uncover their plan of attack for tonight. Alright. Alright, I promise I'm going to start slowing down while I'm reading. So I don't keep messing up. Also hurts my voice a little bit, man. Talking so much. I didn't realize doing all this reading would impact my voice. But I guess it does. So let's go defeat some brigands. I can do that. And gather information. Alright, so I'm gonna head to that little quest ring over here on the right. I think I'm gonna swim across. It's probably the fastest way. And like I said, if you repeatedly tap your space bar, you swim a little faster. Although it probably sounds very obnoxious on my microphone. I'm not going to kill some of these outlying brigands because I'm sure there's going to be plenty of them in there when I'm trying to collect whatever information this is. Black old hoodlum. Did he see me from that far away? Are you kidding me? Alright, there we go. I'm so used to being able to sneak on my burglar that I'm not used to having to actually fight my way in. Okay. There is a wolf here, but he won't do anything. And looks like there are some plans here. Okay. They mean to attack tonight with the help of Angmar. That is not good. So I need to kill a couple more black wolves. I think there should be a couple of them out here. So I'll just kill those. Nice. I don't know what that was, but I liked it. Yeah, I'm just going to kill this guy. that put a damage over time on them? It might have. Alright. So let's go back to John. See what he has to say about these plans. Go, little hobbit, go. I'm pretty excited about playing the Warden. I think he's going to be a lot of fun, especially as I learn some combinations and just kind of get very familiar with them. I feel like there's a million different ways to play a Warden, which can't be said about all the other classes in this game. Apparently, it's one of the most difficult classes to play just because there's a big learning curve, but also one of the more rewarding ones, too. Good work, my friend. Good work, Hippin, and fast, too. This will be a great boon to Arquette. Now, we will be able to counter their efforts with the proper strategy. What is this? Well-worn equipment? Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the risk there and do this. I believe there is hope for us yet. We only need a strategy. What an excellent find, Kippen. Those folk from Angmar sound like evil foes, but at least we know what they are up what we are up against. The plans also show a map that points to the Old East Path, which is just near here. We all avoid that path, and save for Atlee Spiderbane, a visitor 
from the east of the Misty Mountains. Speak with Atlee and learn of what he can tell you about the path. We can use the path to our advantage if we manage to successfully scout it. Okay. Let me take a look at some of this stuff here. Got some shoulder pads. Uh, let me actually put this on instead of my copper ring. Prefer might over vitality. Gonna throw that away. Throw that away. Then let me see what this is gonna give me. Okay. Not bad. I can pick a lot of different things here. I'm probably gonna go with a helmet since I don't have a helmet yet. Yeah, the only thing I don't have is a helmet, so I'll just do that. Put it on. Look at that, I look like a little, a little peanut now. A little doofus. Alright, let's go talk to Atlee Spider-Bane. Wait a minute, did I... I think I saw a quest ring. Yes, I did. Almost missed that. You've had all day long, friend, and more dangers await. You have had a long day, friend, and all... Oh my god. You have had a long day, friend, and more dangers await. You should take some rest. There is a bedroll... Just over there, you can use. I will wake you if anything happens. I feel like this is not really the time to be sleeping. Um. Okay, should I do this? I'll do it. The bedroll is more comfortable than you expect, or perhaps you are more tired than you realize. You close your eyes, and before long, you are lost in a dream. Is that Galadriel? Kippen. Listen to my words. I am Galadriel, the Lady of the Golden Wood. Do not be afraid, young one. Your kind is known to me, but I have beheld hobbits such as you only from afar. I will not long disturb your sleep. I can visit you in dreams for only a short time. I have looked into my mirror and seen much that worries me. Let me show you. Hmm. So I don't remember this from the introduction that I've done in the past, so it seems like they change it every once in a while. Castle of Karn Doom and Angel. I love Karn Doom. It's one of my favorite instances when the game first came out. I have seen lighted windows in the evil city of Karn Doom, the dread land of Angmar stirs. Shadows once stretched forth from Angmar to threaten Middle Earth. I fear they will again. Interesting. Very interesting. The Bridge of Casa Doom in Moria? Sweet. So it looks like we have the fellowship here. My mirror shows me much else I do not understand. Oh, sweet. It's the Balrog. Some of this may come to pass, or none of it. That is the nature of my mirror. Very cool. I like that little addition that they have put in here. Some foreshadowing of all the adventures to come in the game. This is at Rohan. 
All of Middle-earth is endangered by the return of Sauron. Looks like we have Theoden over here at Medusild. With Eowyn and perhaps Grima Wormtongue on the right. We need strength, wisdom, and courage if we are to oppose him. Men, elves, dwarves, hobbits, all free folk must stand together. Here we are enter entering Lothlorien. Back here with Galadriel. You are... You are near to wake for us. The last tendrils of sleep will soon release you. You ask why I wanted to show you this? It is for one reason. I saw you in my mirror. Not once or twice, but often. Whether you desire it or not, your fate is tied to that of Middle-earth. Excellent. Do not forget my words when you awaken. The free peoples of Middle-earth will have need of you. You must not fail them. Private encounter shut down. Sweet. That was a cool little instance. I enjoyed that. So Galadriel did an excellent job at actually promoting the series for me. We will be traveling to all those places. We will venture to Angmar. We will cross the bridge of Khazad-dûm. We will visit King Theoden in Meduseld. And we will actually see Galadriel in Lothlorien. Those are all the things that are... ...series. And I hope you guys are going to stick around for it. That sounds like a most curious dream. I never have dreams like that, friend. I would not wish to have such either. Okay, so let's go out here and continue with our actual quests. And here's Atlee Spiderbane. Greetings, traveler! Aye, I know all about the old East Path. There are spiders everywhere. When you kill one, another takes its place. If we are to make use of that path at all, we should first fight our way through and ensure that it is still blocked at the walls of Arket. The spiders will do some work for us against the Black Wolves. And what the spiders don't deal with, we shall come from afore and behind with our axes and our blades, and we will fall upon them with a mighty cave coming down. We will fall upon them like a mighty cave coming down. Some of this text is written weirdly, I'm sorry. Alright, or maybe I'm, I'm just a bad reader, it seems like. I cannot get my stuff together. It doesn't help that it's 2.38 in the morning, too, so... Probably has something to do with it. So let's go kill some spiders and see if the wall is still intact. Okay. Keep killing. So I wonder, I think you have to clear your gambit before you can set a new one. That is the feeling I'm getting. Okay, yeah, I need to be paying attention to over here. Alright, we need to kill one more spider. Alright, now let me just go check out the wall. Did my music stop playing? I think it stopped playing. Oh well. We'll get it fixed by the next episode if it doesn't come back. There it is, it's back. We have a dead scout. Okay. Let's go tell John. Seems to be some good news. A dead scout is a good scout. At least when the scout is working against you. Look at my alerts. Specialization needed. Okay, interesting. 
So this is a new mechanic, fairly new mechanic to the game. We have class traits. Um, so usually red is going for damage. And I think I'm going to go with that for now. I'll do a little bit more reading as I continue along with the game. But I'm going to go with this for now. And I think once you reach level 5, you get the title Novice. So maybe I should be able to get my horse now. Right? Where was that little letter? No, I'm not a novice yet. I have to finish this little area. That's okay. We can wait. We still have three minutes on our run fast thing over here. Let me pick up some of the items. A dead end will surely work in our favor. That is good news. A dead end at the end of the path will work in our favor. The brigands will be slowed, and they will have the spiders at their heels, and the hunters will come from behind while the soldiers attack at the head. I'll go to Arcade and rally them, and ready them for the storm that awaits them tonight. And I don't really care about the dyes or anything like that. Um... I'll take some olive ones, who cares? I like olives. Quickly, Calder Cobb is making us move against Arkett, and the wicked men of Angmar are lending him and the Blackwald strength. We must go to the town's defense at once. Return to me when you are prepared. Okay, so this is the final introduction quest. We'll not be able to do any more quests once I talk to him. I don't think there were any quests left. So, I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's go. Are you ready? Very well. John Brackenbrook and his hunters have reached the outskirts of Archit to find it already ablaze. A desperate struggle to save their village is about to begin. Hopefully, you have arrived in time. Okay, actually looks like I got two new skills here. Let me take a quick look at them. Javelins can pierce. So that looks like it throws a javelin and shield piercer. More javelin stuff, okay. Look out, they see us. Jeez. These guys just got shot up. They have spotted us. We move now. We have no time to lose. There's not much time to lose. Already the town burns. We have only a short time to rest here before they see that we have broken through the east wall. I fear we are less safe by the moment. We must help my father. Poor Ned. He's done for. Alright, let me kill these guys. This guy's pissed. He's the one that got jailed. Otto the Brigand. Stop, I beg you. Emdir. Emdir's close by. He escaped the slaughter at slaughter at the Badger. You have to help him. Defend the Badger. Those Blackwolds want the Hobbit and the Captain. I, I saw something in the flames. Go after them. You must save them. No. Jailer Ned. He's dead. Our chat must still be saved. Calder Cobb and Otto's treachery were just the beginning of this battle. I fear we must find a way to the Mad Badger Inn. Peg has left us a way into the marketplace. Perhaps there is a way through there. Follow me. Too far away, are you kidding me? Our chat must still be saved. Looks like this way is blocked. We must find a new route. So you can easily switch between targets by hitting tab and you can get the closest target to you by hitting backspace. We must find my father before it's too late. The marketplace is safe for now, but we must press on. If we tarry too long, we will lose all of our kit. We must find another way into the center of town. Now we should secure the crafters area. Come. Those black-hearted fiends have laid waste to our town. I hope we are not too late. Hartley is ahead. All must not be lost. Well met, friend. Is the crafting hall safe? 
A group of black wolves entered that building yonder not long ago, John. Together, surely we can take them. Well then, let's not tarry. Alright, let me kill some more dudes here. I need to figure out a button rotation here. That I can easily go to. Although the mad badger burns, I still hold out hope. You have fared well, my friend, but all might be lost nonetheless. We have protected the market square and the crafters area. Already the mad badger burns. Perhaps my father is still alive, but I hold little hope. Follow Atlee and me. We will defend what is left of this town to the death, if we must. We are almost there, my friend. My father will be alive. I know it. I thought you said you just doubted that he was alive. I guess your hope changes pretty quickly. Father, I knew you would survive. I am alive, son, but I grow weary, weary from the fight. Does Arket fall now? I have been a fool. This is not the time for blame. We must look to defending those who count on us for safety. I agree. I will guard the hobbits and the injured man. Can you keep the attackers at bay? Prepare for the final onslaught. Alright, we can do that. We are going to prepare. Got a black hole here. And then this dude. No big boss or anything. Alright, we got a couple more waves coming in. Right. Kill this guy. It's another wave down. Oh my goodness, and we got some cargoes. Who's that? Calder Cobb, of course. You have always been blind to where I am concerned, Captain, but perhaps you begin to understand me. All I know is that you betrayed your home and your peoples. You should be ashamed. Enough talk. Amdir is now a servant of Mordor. Come, Dunedain. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes. Alright, go with them, Igor. Walk through the fire. Amdir, no. Don't go with them. Calder Cobb, finish what you came to do. I will not let that happen. Gladly. I will have the power of Arkit now, Brackenbrook. Did he just kill Captain Brackenbrook? Calder Cobb is going to have to pay mercilessly for that. He did not stand a chance. Not at all. What misery has befallen us. This My is a sad... Right to trust no one. This is a sad day indeed. Arket burned, my father is dead, and the ranger was taken by evil men. If men, they can be called. Now, all we can do is wait for the flames to die down. Then with luck, we may begin to rebuild our poor town. This is no place for a hobbit. Let us see that you and the others get safely back to the Shire. With the Black Wolves' grip on Archet broken, the hobbits hurry home to the Shire, eager to return to their simple, peaceful lives. But not all is as peaceful as it seems. Troubles stir at the bounds, and a shadow of fear is left in the wake of the Nazgul. Alright, so we are headed back to the Shire. That's pretty exciting. I love the Shire. And here we are. We are in the Shire. We are in the main area of the game. Let's talk to Mundo Sackville Baggins. Well, the gall of some folk. So I finally get the novice title, so maybe now I can ride horses. You'll never see me outside the bounds of the Shire again. Some Baggins may enjoy an uncomfortable adventure, but not I. To think that I had to rely on big folk to pull me th from the grips of the others. You didn't help much with the way you marched us back to the Shire either, Kippen. What a, what a little ungrateful guy, man. Okay, perfect. So, I think this is actually a pretty good stopping place for the, for the episode. I hope you guys are excited to actually begin the adventure in the main part of the world here. We're going to begin right here in the Shire, and if you haven't already, be sure to take the Valve Nonstop Gaming and join the Monastery by hitting the subscribe button, 
And I'll catch you guys next time for a brand new episode. So I'll see you then. Right after I see what this is. New mail. We'll get to that next time.